Hi, and welcome to Feed the Beast. Um, take two. <laughs> I just started recording, and apparently it didn't record. Um, <laughs> very depressing, really. Uh, so, yeah, take two. I was talking to myself last time. Uh, so I started the castle, and things are looking good so far. Um... Having a lot of fun with it, going to build in a drawbridge over here. Um, I was, whoops, I was doing a bit more with the showing what I was going to do, which I'm going to cut down a bit now because I demonstrated a lot of it. That is no longer all that, you know, valuable for footage anymore. So. So yeah, I'll show a little bit of what I'm actually doing to create. Thus, uh, the castle. <laughs> These round pillars, I'm basically doing this. Adding some of that. Throw that there and fill it. It's actually a it, little bit of prep time on the way you set that, but it's actually a lot quicker in the end. So we got that. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to create an arch and some uh, draw bridges, um, which aren't too hard to make, but I got to make some aluminum brass. Um, dispensers aren't hard. And I'm going to create a lever on the outside that, and the inside that will open and close the gate using. Let's see, here, where did I put it? Uh, Oh yeah, the chest over here. I got some red alloy ingots, which I can make in red alloy, alloy wire real easily. Um, then the ore gate. So I'm going to set that up so that no matter if you're inside or outside, you just flip the lever and it'll either open or close depending on what it is. Um, that's a basic circuitry thing. So that's going to be that. Um, Oh, something I didn't remember to show. I also have a basement waiting to come in. I quarried it out. So this castle is going to be bigger down than it is up. There's going to be lots of different rooms depending on the basically for different mods or power or whatever I'm doing. Um, quite dark under here right now. Hopefully that will be fixed mostly. I mean, obviously when you get down towards the bottom, it's going to be more void fog. Is that a real bat? That is. No more bat. Oh, uh, that's right. The witchery and the dark craft, I believe they are, add bat drops. Um, and generator. Using that to generate some power. I made one of those and I've got a mob spawner in here. A tank of mob essence sitting here at the moment. I can spawn in Enderman. Whoops. I had the pick equipped. That shouldn't have happened. Uh, that is a Wither Skeleton. And then the Enderman. Um, once I get stronger and I can start killing Withers real easy, I'm going to make a Wither Generator. Which will make a big difference, and that's going to produce massive power per generator. But it's going to keep exploding, per se. Uh, <laughs> but it'll generate massive power in the small spaces. So rather than doing those massive boilers, I think we're going to do something more around that range. Um, we've got an ME system starting up. This is where Taylor's been building. Um, I added in the ME drives, the, uh, the 64K here. He had the 4Ks. I added a 64. I haven't talked to him yet. Um, he's right there, though. I also put in these deep storage units. One for cobble. Uh, one for charcoal, which don't seem to be storing any at the moment. I got to talk to him about that. And the dirt. There is charcoal here. It should be in there. I don't know why. So that'll be for that. Um... Then we also got the blaze spawner, which is creating our 
the blazon skeleton here, which is creating that mob essence we were using, storing it in this resonant ender tank. Uh, it's being powered by a furnace generator, which just uses basic fuel. And the grinders. This only works when somebody's nearby. We're going to switch over to the um, soul shards mod soon. We already got the thing. Taylor built the thing here to start summoning them. That will, like I said, change soon. Uh, we're creating tons of charcoal. I'm going to switch up the farms too. Because, uh, I mean, we're going to be using more charcoal, I believe, for a while. So I'm going to switch this probably to a straight tree farm. I've got more wheat than we know what to do with at the moment. Uh, tons of wheat seeds, which is... The seeds were for breeding chickens. That's what the main purpose was at first. And... No. We got plenty. So, there's that. We got a few essen uh, uh, essence berry bushes. A little bit of cotton, just so if we need some string. But string's not all that necessary at the moment. Been building some bees for Dan. Or 94 plus 1. Or 94 plus B, as he's called on some of his uh, FTB. But he hasn't really gotten on yet. He was on vacation. Um... Uh, shortly after the reset and he's a little um, behind on getting back into things uh, mostly because he's a bit you know upset about the uh, loss of the old server file and all the work he put into the bees so is that we got our quarry through here Still decent on the charcoal. So that's quarrying away here in the twilight. Um, this was the first quarry. Uh, it wasn't set up with any landmarkers. And this is kind of built within it because Taylor put in the landmarkers. And hopefully soon we'll be switching to quarry pluses and quarrying on a more massive scale. But at the moment, um, we're still, you know... Still building up power and materials to a point. We're starting to get a bit more lucrative with it, but it takes time, and we, I mean, probably won't be too much longer before we have everything like we did before. Um, I haven't done too much with the Ars Magica. I am still sitting in the robes. I plan on changing that soon. Start, um... Finding some bosses and getting essences needed to make the next armor and grind the uh, earth boss to get that other armor. Um, though actually I might grind the all the bosses and get their different unique items and build the unique armor set to a point. Uh, I'm not sure if that'll have any type of benefit, but rather than just things the way they are so well I'm gonna end it here thank you for watching I hope to see you next time bye now